Well, hello and welcome to video one of our series. What we're gonna cover today is how to break the self-sabotage and glass ceiling pattern. So the first concept I wanna share with you is this, and I'm gonna say it and just notice the reaction that you have when I say this. You live in a box. Now, in, in your system, in your mind, you may have had the thought like, F you, I don't live in a box, you know, what are you talking about, et cetera. Some sort of resistance to that, right? So let me explain what I mean. Every human being, regardless of how much money is in your bank account, how successful your relationships are, what your health is, et cetera, you live in a box. That box is invisible. And that's why it doesn't feel like you live in a box. You don't walk outside and go, you know what? This is my wall. You don't, it's an invisible box. Let me explain what I mean. When you want to take some sort of action, say in business, say around finances, whether it's an, a large investment, leaving your current job for another job, investing heavily in your business with the idea of growing it, you're met with a little bit of resistance, right? It's scary. There's a little bit of pain there. So the box isn't a box that you can see the walls of. It's more like an electrocuted fence for a dog that every time you get to the edge of your comfort zone, you get met with that resistance, which most of us call pain. And as soon as we get triggered with that pain, what do we do? Very rarely do we go through that pain. Most oftentimes we go, oh, that doesn't feel really good. I'm getting really nervous. I'm getting really scared and we run the other way. And so these cycles, these patterns of gaining money, losing money, or staying at the same level no matter how much work and effort you do, is all because you've programmed your mind to stay away from the wall. Because every time you step towards the wall or through the wall, etc., you get electrocuted. But if you think about this, look at any area of your life and anything that you've ever mastered in your life, my assertion is that you've gone through some bit of parts that were uncomfortable whether you were confused, overwhelmed, made stupid, not to feel good enough, young enough, old enough, et cetera, in order to get through that. And then that gave you confidence, new abilities, and then you expanded your wall. So now I wanna share with you a very personal story and afterwards I wanna share with you a very, very powerful exercise. So in 2010, Starting 2004 to 2010, I worked in commercial finance. I basically took a company with a half million dollar investment. We grew to $107 million in assets under management over that very quick span. But in 2010, I lost everything. I went from making multiple six figures, car my dreams, million dollar home, et cetera, to literally blowing through all of my savings and living on unemployment checks while I had a baby on the way. Now, as a man, and I'm not saying this just as a man, but as a man, right, we are programmed to help our families, protect our families. And today we don't go out hunting, we go out hunting for dollars, right? That's how you protect your family, you, you provide for them. So it was a massive ego hit. I have never felt so helpless, worthless, not enough, loser in my entire life. Now in that state, so when we hit the glass ceiling and we come crashing down in that state, when I was in and whatever your story is, I'm sure you have something similar. It's really difficult a to get out of it and B when you're in it to actually manifest any sort of abundance, right? So one of the things that I started to dig deep in internally is, Hey, what's the story that I'm making up about my situation? And here's the vision that I had of my future. I actually envisioned that if I couldn't get Satori Prime business up and running, I had this picture of me, my wife, and our baby in a box in New York City being rained on while holding up a sign asking for people to help us with some money so we can eat. That was literally the movie screen vision in my mind as I'm going into work every single day. Now, you could imagine that would pe put my system in a very fearful, lack, terrified state, right? And from that state, do I have any ability to ever leap into a state of abundance? Absolutely not. So I learned of this exercise, which I wanna share with you, and it's a two-parter, so stick with me here. 
So the first thing I want you to do is think of the area of life where you're feeling stuck, right? And I want you to write down, write down, no, just say it or think about it, write down your story. What is the worst case scenario of your current situation? The made up crazy story that you have in your mind, write it down. It's good for it to sound crazy, right? Like when I wrote that down, I was like, holy shit, where's that coming from? Because here's the real worst case scenario. The real worst case scenario was my parents lived about 12 minutes away in a house big enough that me, my wife, and our kid could each have a bedroom and we would go back there and figure it out. That was really the worst case scenario, but I didn't take the time enough to get related to that reality. I was living in my made up Hollywood movie. As soon as you get related to your real worst case scenario, the fear, the scare, the terrified, the lack, all of those emotions will dissipate. And from that place, you now have access to this world of abundance. Now, one step further, if your worst case scenario is still really, really loud and really impacting you, I wanna give you this other exercise that you can do. So when you start envisioning this nightmare scenario, right? Like when I envision myself, in this box, I mean, it was loud and it was bright and all these cars are honking and all these people are walking by and no one's helping us. It was really, really painful. So you could take that image in your mind's eye and if it's really bright and really loud, make it black and white. Turn down the volume, flip it upside down, move it really far away from you, change the color to a cartoon, put some colorful music behind it. And what you're trying to do is notice the grip that this has on you as it lessens, okay? So practice that. Again, what is the made up story that you have in your head, the worst case scenario story? Write that down. Then get related to reality and write the real worst case scenario. And if you really need to still lessen that, do the exercise that I just shared with you about changing the color, adding music, flipping it around, making a cartoon, all that kind of stuff, okay? Have an amazing day, my friends. See you soon.